What's going on Fortnite fans, my name is Jackus the Creator and in this video we'll be finding out what happened when I dropped faulty splits 100 times. I've been playing Fortnite for years and I decided it's about time I improve my skill at the game and one of the best ways to do that is to just drop in a bunch. With the new launch of chapter 4 I decided to main a popular location and faulty splits is a very solid option. This video was inspired by Link the Notable, shout out to him for this video format. Now before this intro develops a fault, let's get into Game number one. Faulty Splits was a hot drop in game one. This POI is already highly contested, but when it's near the start of the bus path, prepare to fight. Landing at the Saucy Sausage, I managed to take on a couple of people before I was killed. Faulty is much further from the start of the bus in game two. I opened a Christmas present and was gifted a chug cannon, which was useful as I lost all of my health in this fight. I hadn't played much of season one up to the start of this video, so I'm still getting used to the new weapons. I love the hammer. I split from Faulty and easily took down someone wielding the product placement item. The hammer is really useful if you need to quickly escape a fight. I gave the mythic a try myself and it's way too slow to be useful in most situations. And I died. Game 3 was a bit of a disaster. I managed to get a whole keychain and got one kill before missing every shot and dying. Faulty split is a hotspot in game 4, meaning you can find these loot drones. What was the plan there? I landed at this very secluded house in game 5. Much of the early game was spent hiding in a bush. I did unlock the really good Stormmark augment though. I must say, I really like the augment feature in Season 1. I think it's a great addition. But this game, it didn't help me not die. You can buy a purple scar from Jewels in Faulty. That's really useful. This eastern half of the POI is already really solid for loot. This fella thought he was playing Zero Build. Season 1 also has these rift events where random things appear in the world, like... Vending machines? Sure. Anyway, I died. This hammer is just too slow to attack with. I landed at this other secluded house in game 7. Surprisingly it was contested, but I dealt with them. These jellyfish that you can find around the map are really handy if you need some quick shield or mobility, but they didn't help me live much longer in game 7. The eastern side of the POI has an area where you can capture the POI, so that's exactly what I did in game 8. It grants pretty solid loot. Unfortunately my snowball launcher was just not effective against the Doomslayer. I played duos with Empire in game 9, we each had a really solid game, took down a ton of people, even used the anime smash successfully, but we met our match. My back bling is appropriate in game 10, except I didn't even land the saucy sausage. Claiming the POI again helped me find a ton of chests really easily, I greatly recommend doing that if you get the chance. I third partied this little fight on the roof, spray and prayed this poor little defaulty boy, took down this jellyfish who wanted to claim the POI for himself, sniped this totally real player, Unlocks the world's loudest augment, dropped in on this unsuspecting player, and then died. I dropped at this castle to the south of the POI in game 11. The castle does not have good loot, but it has pretty solid rotation into faulty. Anyway, I hid in the toilet until I was shotgunned. Dinking this man with an explosive bow was all it took in game 12. I also found this hilarious animation where you hammer with balloons. After dropping in on this night, I realised how bad the balloon perk truly is don't use it. Game 13 started out with the triple Elimon players who totally weren't bots. This fella tried to commit vehicular manslaughter but my snowballs were simply too strong. This chicken actually did more damage than the player I was fighting. Unfortunately I ran into some real players and died. After ordering KFC and chopping down a tree, the massacre of game 14 truly began. Nah, I'm kidding, I, I got shot in the face immediately. I won this fight through sheer luck. I unlocked the aerialist perk which is actually really good for rotation as it gives you glider redeploy. Using this and a shockwave bow, I escaped the storm easily. After taking on this duo at the Henge, my computer blew screen, so... That's the end of game 15. Final circle in game 16. I sure do hope it goes well. Nope! Second place! <laughs> game 18 was played in zero build squads with the boys. This fight north of Anvil Square was so much fun, it was absolute chaos. We almost went down, but luckily the resident American squad member was on hand to revive us. And with that... I snowboarded the last guy and we got the win. We were chilling on the peak of the map in game 19 when we were attacked. Unfortunately, we all fell at the bastion. Game 20 was duos with Grady Bomb Gaming, and this game has the most ultimate comeback arc. I was knocked pretty early and Grady was hunted down by the duo, but managed to avoid them for long enough to go all the way across the map again and collect my card. He rebooted me and we finally ended the duo. Oh, and... We won the game too. Trios with Grady and Empire in game 21 and we were slaying. With 18 kills total across the three of us, we took the dub for back-to-back -back wins. Game 22 was, uh, 
not as successful. I don't think this default even knew I was there. Sadly, the newly rebooted got me. I was hunted down for sport in game 24. I became a chug gunner in game 25. And the game was going pretty well until it crashed. Game 26 is a good example of just how chaotic Faulty really is. This POI will almost always have fighting. For the OGs, think of it as the salty or retail of this map. And for the new players, just just observe these 100 drops and see how much I die early on. I got the exotic grappler bow in game 27. I was pretty hyped to use it as I never did in the primal season and it's fine. And I died to a man with 10 kills anyway. I unlocked the tricked out perk in game 28, which is amazing for those of you who like cards in Fortnite. Not so great for those who get shot in the face though. This guy apparently didn't realize that I'd fallen off the roof. This soccer skin was a mega bar, surprisingly. I claimed the POI for loot good enough to get me to the final circle, but I didn't win. Game 30 started with a solid triple E limb. This hidden room in the bowling alley building has a ton of good loot, if no one takes it first. Also, this man transformed into a gold shotgun, so thanks, I guess. But I died because this porter bunker betrayed me and placed really weirdly. I got this skin from Winterfest before game 31, so naturally I broke it in with death. Is that a... Is that a troll face? Unfortunately, game 32 ended to sad toxic boy. I attempted a hit and run in game 33. Nick was feeling a little bit destructive, but the mighty cheater was too skilled. And game 34 was not that much better. Pulling out an ult I haven't used since chapter two, season one for those bot lobbies, baby. Everything looks so weird on a new account. Unsurprisingly, the competition was not World Cup level. Well, until the end of the game where we came second place to people seemingly trying out for the FNCS finals. I was AFK for a lot of game 36, so props to Nick for carrying. But we came second place again because I suck in high pressure fights and I managed to use the wrong part of the hammer. I, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Don't worry though, we got that bot lobby win in game 37. Game 38 was a team effort, but I'm going to blame Empire for our loss. Skill issue Emps. Santa left some goodies for me into the tree in game 39. The Christmas tree is gone as Winterfest is over, so this looting place doesn't exist now. We knocked down this kid's house and cyberbullied the poor dude. And with a 4 vs 2, this game was only ever going to end one way. We discovered this area south of Faulty in game 41. The loot is pretty mid, but it's very unpopulated. It must be said that the snowball launcher is really decent in zero build. I was knocked, but luckily saved before the enemy finished me off, only to be knocked again. Damn. My only clip of game 42 is 10 seconds long and that says everything. Game 43 was played in the Team Rumble playlist. I wish I had more to say but my game crashed again. But it's all good as I won game 44 on Christmas Day. I did not win game 45. You know, this skin reminds me of that Nintendo game that no one cares about. I picked off the local population for a while before unfortunately being picked off myself. Boo! Did I scare you? My lack of skill here sure scared me. I got the exotic unstable bow in game 48. It's cool. It shoots a new arrow every time you fire. I still died though. Game 49, ladies and gentlemen. Game 50 was the most game 50 to ever game 50. Halfway there. Oh, I was a little whipping on the competition in game 51. RPGs also came back in this game and the RPG hammer combo is insane. I was popping off until I forgot I didn't have an SMG and, and tried to hammer the last guy instead. Yeah, I wasn't very happy about this loss. I literally carried Empire in game 52. Well, for a bit. The Jules NPC at Faulty is really good. Not only does she sell a purple scar, but also an RPG. I used that RPG to get myself out of a sticky situation. I made it surprisingly far for a guy on one health. I met the Grim Reaper in game 54. <laughs> game 55 was played on Grady's stream. Snowy attempted to launch me into the stratosphere, but we won, so kind of a wash. We were in a really tough spot in game 56. It was all up to the Canadian to take on a full squad, and he tried. He really tried. Game 57 started off with a loot llama. I do wish they didn't change these guys though. They used to be so much easier. Nick stood in the fire, unfazed. Well, until we died. Imagine shooting a man with your last bullet and he stands there, unfazed. I crashed early on in game 58, but I did get to witness this beautiful rotation strat. All you needed is three people, a truck, and two hammers. We came second. I was gifted this Cow Jonesy skin. I want to win with him. Game 59 did not bring that win. I came in like a wrecking ball in game 60 to end this man's career before having mine ended by a big old hammer. Fair play to this guy though, who hit me with a heavy shotty from so far away. Can't even be mad at that. Still going for that Cow Jonesy win. Game 62 likewise did not bring it. 
In game 63, I had two hammers and two RPGs. It was so much fun. I was causing chaos everywhere. Well, that didn't stop me from getting stuck and getting shot in the head, though. So, I died to a similarly dressed fellow in game 64. I fought to my last bullet in game 65. I didn't make it, but not bad for a guy with a grey pistol. The New Year's event was happening in game 66. Happy 2023. This guy's 2023 wasn't happy. Nor this fellow's. Nor mine. I accidentally blew myself up in game 67. Yeah, we didn't last much longer. Game 68 was similarly short-lived. I was on fire in game 69, popping off, taking down enemies left and right. It was close, but I got that win. Nice. The Doomslayer himself is no match for me and my Maven shotgun. Yeah, but I was no match for Jesse6996. One game late, buddy. I decided to go into the bowling alley in game 71. How do you think it went? Game 72 is noteworthy in absolutely zero ways. The recording for game 73 corrupted, but as you can hear, it didn't last long. I just want to take a second to talk about the best part of this POI in my opinion. This house on the eastern side is the best building in Faulty, in my experience. The roof alone has up to three chests, an oath bound chest, multiple ammo crates and several slurp barrels and the rest of the building is jam packed full of flute. Also, can we talk about how damn pretty chapter 4 is? I mean, in game 74 I didn't get to appreciate that for long as I fell in the fields of frenzy, but still. This man was so intimidated by me in game 75 he just ran off. His friend? Not so scared. The guardian shield was new in game 76, so naturally we put it to the test. It's alright. Sliding on into game 77, it looks like this one comes down to me. Will we win? <laughs> of course not. The next few games were played in the Zero Build Duos Cup with Empire. We actually did well enough to briefly appear on the worldwide leaderboard. Yeah, we fell off of it after game 78. Game 79 was equally awful. Yep. Game 81 continues to prove how awful the balloon perk is. I did the unthinkable and actually killed someone in game 82. Sadly, I was then shot in the back. Back to solos for the rest of the drops. In game 83, this Harley Quinn got me down to 3 health, but I vanquished her! Yeah, but on low health, I didn't last much longer. The good house wielded absolutely nothing in game 84. Eager to use the new Falcon Scout, I used it to mark an enemy's location which allowed me to sneak up on him, unsuccessfully as he had the high ground. Game 85 started with a good old pickaxe battle. I used Storm Mark to find this fella, but clearly I was out of my league. Ah, <sighs> an uncontested faulty. Ain't it a beaut? All of the loot or none of it, I still suck with the heavy shoddy, so does it really matter? I I don't want to talk about it. In game 88, this man had plenty of time to kill me. He should have. I didn't have to kill this guy, but it was fun. With my assistance, this is now a 1 vs 1, and with one more anime smash, I got the win. I lost the opportunity for a back-to-back -back win to a pickaxe fight. Back-to-back -back 91st places! I actually got an elim in game 92, but then my game crashed, so I guess it's equally as bad as the rest. The endless failure continues in game 93. I'm not sure why this fellow was so determined to live. He had nothing, and neither did I. I unlocked a new siphon perk in game 95, which I wanted to try, but I never got the chance. I hid in a hole while the chaos went around me in game 96. Oh, you know I joined in. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't last much longer. I was killed by the most annoying type of player in the game in game 97. I tried in game 98. In game 99, I jump scared this man and eventually killed him, but then this elite agent snuck up on me. And game 100 ended with me getting shot in the face by someone unknown. Great. Well, that's the 100 drops. Dropping into 40 splits 100 times has taught me a lot about the mechanics of 2023 Fortnite, and has undoubtedly made me a better player, even if only slightly. If you want to get a ton of wins, dropping faulty isn't for you. But I managed to amass over 200 kills across the games, and that includes like 15 where I got absolutely no elims. So yeah, it's good for fighting. Making this video made me enjoy playing Fortnite a lot more. So let me know in the comments what location you'd like to see me drop 100 times next. And don't worry, creative content isn't going anywhere either. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you'd like to support me, please consider using code Jackers in the Fortnite item shop or the Epic Games store. Thanks for watching, stay creative, and I will see all of you in the next video.